Special Counsel Jack Smith has compelled at least two Republican fake electors to testify to a federal grand jury in Washington in recent weeks by giving them limited immunity, part of a current push by federal prosecutors to swiftly nail down evidence in the sprawling criminal investigation into efforts to overturn the 2020 election. The testimony, described to CNN by people familiar with the situation, comes after a year of relative dormancy around the fake electors portion of the investigation and as a parade of related witnesses are being told to appear before the grand jury. With no chance for delay, that activity could signal that investigators are nearing at least some charging decisions in a part of the 2020 election. Probe, sources added. It also comes just as the special counsel's office filed charges against former President Donald Trump for his handling of classified documents. Prosecutors initially obtained documents and interviews last spring from many of the Republicans who signed false certificates to the federal government, asserting they were the rightful electors for Trump in seven battleground states won by Joe Biden. Prosecutors have played hardball with some of the witnesses in recent weeks, refusing to grant extensions to grand jury subpoenas for testimony and demanding they comply before the end of this month, sources said. In the situations where prosecutors have given witnesses immunity, the special counsel's office arrived at the courthouse in Washington ready to compel their testimony after the witnesses indicated they would decline to answer questions under the Fifth Amendment, the sources added. The compelled testimony has allowed the special counsel's office to lock in witness statements and potentially information that other investigators who have looked at the aftermath of the 2020 election couldn't obtain. At least one other witness has spoken to investigators in the past two weeks outside of the grand jury with an agreement the person would be protected from potential prosecution, another source said. At least half a dozen witnesses have testified before the federal grand jury in Washington over four days in the past two weeks, with many of the sessions focused on the fake electors plot orchestrated by attorneys assisting the Trump campaign in 2020. The numbers, profile of the witnesses and prosecutor tactics suggest a probe picking up its pace, several people familiar with the investigation said. Lawyers who have been in touch with the special counsel's office in the wake of Trump's indictment in Florida have found that prosecutors are still examining what appear to be other aspects of the investigation into Trump and his allies' efforts to subvert the 2020 election results. It is not clear if Trump is a target in the fake electors aspect of Smith's ongoing criminal probe. But in recent months, prosecutors have pursued information about the former president's words and actions after the 2020 election, including securing court-ordered testimony from his former vice president, Mike Pence. Prosecutors have also asked multiple witnesses recently about Trump's actions before, during and after the January 6 attack on the U.S. Capitol, sources said. An interest in former Trump legal team in recent weeks, the special counsel's office has also shown interest in several members of Trump's post-election legal team who promoted baseless claims of widespread voter fraud, including his former lawyers Rudy Giuliani and Sidney Powell, as well as former Justice Department appointee Jeffrey Clark, who tried to help Trump's push to use the Department of justice to overturn the election. Giuliani played a key role in overseeing the fake electors plot across seven battleground states as part of the broader push to overturn the 2020 presidential election results for Trump, as CNN has previously reported.